In the Public Awareness Project, we are a service project on the one hand, contributing to PR work for the entire CRC. And on the other hand, we are also a research project concentrating on sustainability education, sustainability con communication, concentrating on the youth. Well, to achieve the societal change that we need towards sustainable development, we do need to educate the young generation. They are our stakeholders of tomorrow. And for this, we try to assist teachers in teaching exactly this complex subject, since so far they usually avoid it. It is a very complex topic. Uh, they don't understand it themselves very often, especially when combined with technological issues. And our, actually, our main target is to, to help them, help children make a change. In public awareness, we concentrate on new approaches and methods for teaching sustainable development, concentrating on manufacturing, since this is a perfect use case. It combines the problematic of resource consumption with standard of living, which is our major problem we are facing right now. So what we do is developing new tools and new materials, since teachers face a problem that first, they don't really know much about the topic themselves yet, and they have to teach it. So we as experts try to assist them, to give them the materials they need and to enable them to teach actually. When we started our project, we concentrated on evaluating students' knowledge on sustainability and it showed that there's not really much, especially when it comes to technical issues, production issues. So we developed a set of working sheets. It's kind of a textbook design with additional material for teachers giving them a head start to their students. And we also developed a learning game which is about end-of-life scenarios and the player has to achieve sort of a sustainable manufacturing process. We also identified a, a social psychological approach which is called social labeling. By this we imply to people that they already show a certain behavior or certain attitudes and we could prove that if we do this carefully, in the end those people will integrate the ideas into their own mindset and will sort of um, replay them. They will show exactly this behavior or a tendency towards it. And that's what we need for sustainable development. In the next step, we first have to identify the exact workings of social labeling. So we are able to implement it into written materials, since so far it's based on face-to-face -face communication. And when we've done that, we can implement it into our materials and then we can spread it. After that, we will develop further scales of our learning game. So far it's only for about 15 year olds. We want to have different versions, which exist theoretically so far, but not yet practically. And in the end, we will offer all our materials for free, which is Open Educational Resources, OER. So together we probably will have a real impact on sustainable education or education for sustainable development.